setting up and the maiden voyage of the blue kayak. Well, good morning. Not a ple very pleasant morning at the end of March. Uh, it's going to drizzle a little bit. It's going to be cloudy, but not too much wind. And I'm getting bored. Uh, this uh, coronavirus is messing everybody up. Today's plan is this yellow kayak. I'm sorry. The blue kayak is going to take place of the yellow kayak. I'm going to take it to Marsh Creek, make sure it's a, what do you call it, flotation, float worthy, there's no no cracks in it, nothing in it, because so this kayak is going to go to Green Lane. I want to see, I want to see the position of all my fishing rods holders and everything else is in the right place before I take it up there. So let's take the yellow kayak down. Well, let's take the blue one first off, put it in here. Very poorly balanced. All the weight is in the back. The handles Should have been back here someplace for, for a good balance. That's all right. Okay, now we're facing the right way. Everything is ready. I'm gonna take the yellow kayak down. That piece of pipe that you see sticking up, that's so the car could hit it and not fall on the other side. I don't need one for this side. This yellow kayak is going to be a bit too much to handle. If I get the blue one set up the way I like it, I got two of them. So I might use the second one to replace the yellow one and uh, retire the yellow one. Uh, let's get the yellow one, I mean the blue one, on the car. Watch how easy. I don't even need wheels for that one. Uh, let me strap it down and uh, we'll take it over. This kayak is, uh, when you measure it, it's 11 feet from end to end. The yellow one is 14. Okay, looks like we're strapped down pretty good. This one. And I've got this one. Okay, I'm ready to go. I don't have a launch permit. I'm taking it out there one time and then it's going to Green Lane. Okay, let's go. 
Okay. I don't know what's going to happen when I get there, how windy it's going to be. Uh, rain, how much rain I'm going to have. I don't feel like being in a kayak when it's pouring out. So I'm taking these two rods and I might fish from the bank for perch and stuff. And uh, using some worms. So let's go give it a try. See what happens. You know what? I might even take a rod out to see if I can get your musky <laughs> from the bank. All right, let's get to it. Try everything. Uh, Mark Marsh Creek with a new kayak that's gonna go to Green Lane most likely. Got two rod holders here, one here, one there. Two in the back. Fly backs, tackle backs, anchor, rain gear in the back of the seat water of course you gotta have a rag i can't see what else i need let's see how uh, how this is going to work out let's go well, so far so good i'm on the water a little choppy not too bad the car is very stable i'm very happy with it uh the only thing i have to do is these rod holders have to go up here right there against my knee not a good place but otherwise everything seems to be a-okay let's see if I can get your perch and then we'll go home uh, I didn't I didn't really take a good look at my yeah yes I did okay I got two hooks on here I thought I only see one hook but I've got two hooks okay Take a hook on the bottom, and some hook on top. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this one. put this two inch gulp minnow okay. and ah oh, forgot my my pliers and my new nose are in the back usually I like to get them out before I start Okay, so I'll take a take a worm. And the worm I will put. And the small hook on top. Usually I don't get hits on that. But let's see what happens. First of all, let's get out of here. I'm in three feet of water. I'm just leaving the dock. Maiden voyage on the blue kayak. <laughs> See you going home soon. All right, where are the perch? 
maiden voyage on the blue boat. <laughs> so far, I love it. You know what? I just might retire the yellow kayak. We'll see. Well, got them all. I'm not fishing for anything else. I'm going home and do my adjustments. See ya. I hope you came out. It looks like they're biting. At least the small ones are. Well, I think it was a successful day. Let's put the kayak away and go home. I'm bringing the wheels for the kayak. Let's see how they work out on this kayak. They were a very big help on the yellow one. They should work just fine on this one. That is so much easier. But it's time to put everything back in the car where it belongs. Get ready for the next trip out. I'm happy with everything. But overall, it was a very successful trip. Uh, everything works the way it should. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. But that's fine for now. The, it should be for the cell phone and somehow I'm going to attach something so I could put this uh, wide angle camera so we, I could get that view let me see yeah okay I want to get that view I have an idea Day is over, it's pretty windy, so I have to uh, talk over the camera audio. But I was very pleased with the boat. Like I said, the rod holders need some adjusting, which shouldn't take very long. And uh, come up with a couple of other things for cameras. And possibly in the future, a depth finder. We'll see. Most likely I will get one. Like I said, I've been very pleased with the boat. Uh, very stable. Now watch how easy it is for me to put it up on top of the rack. Oh, let me check. Make sure there's no water in the thing. So I just checked. There was no water. And look at that. No more struggling. That yellow kayak was a beast. Now, of course, <laughs> the first time doing this, the wheels got hung up. But all's good. See you on the water next time. Let's go home and make the adjustments.